Hey guys, Mordecai not here, and today we're talking about piston wear. What's considered normal when you're pulling the uh, cylinder head off and you're taking the uh, pistons out of the block? What's considered like a normal wear? Everybody knows what brand new looks like and destroyed looks like, but what does a normal wearing piston that's in good condition look like? Okay, over here we have what's considered a normal wearing piston. All right, if you look here, you see, like I see, you see the little lines. Has a little bit of wear. This engine has about 100,000 miles on it. No scoring. You know, it's pretty good here. The other side, you know, a little bit more worn, but overall, you, see, you still see these little lines. There's no wear, really. These are fine. Okay, these can actually even be put back in. There's hardly nothing there. Now look at one that's not so good. Obviously, you can see this piston is scored, even though you can pretty much, you can feel it a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Everything is totally gone on here. Look at this. Look at that. This one, I think this side even has grooves. And what this is, is um, oil starvation or lack of oil. Um, what happened with this engine is... The um, oil has oil squirters in this particular engine. They got clogged with debris. And not only that, there was debris in the pickup of the oil pickup that pumps the oil. So if the pickup is clogged and you can't pump oil, all right, now you're not, it's going gonna, it's gonna to destroy almost the whole, whole, the whole engine that way because an engine can't run without being totally lubricated all the time. You see, like over here, see all these little holes? That's where the oil pumps in. So you can imagine, once there's no oil suspending the cams or the crank or the rods, it's going to do metal to metal and wear as if there's no oil, which there isn't. And even on the skirts like this, it destroys them. All right? So, I mean, you're rebuilding an engine. Let's say you're doing a head gasket or you just want to, be, you know, re refreshing everything up. And you pull the pistons out, you know, and they look like this. I mean, you can change them if you want, but if you look closely, you know, it's a little bit of worn, a little bit. You know, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Some people would like to change it. Would I change it? If it was my, if it was my car and I was keeping it for like 10 years, 15, 20 years, yeah, replace them while you got them out. But, you know, like I said, there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, the oil starvation did not get to these yet. For some reason, it destroyed this one. All right, so I thought I'd clear up, you know, just basically when, a lot of times, you know, you can see brand new, we know brand new, used, br br messed up like this, we know that. But what when you take apart an engine, a lot of people don't realize, and that's how I learned, is what's good. A lot of times I take apart parts that are good to see how they wear, to see what they look like when they're good. A lot of people don't know. You know, they'll just assume, you know, like a water pump or whatever. I, when I was a kid, I used to take these things apart. I, used to, I was so curious about this stuff. And um, I learned and learned. And what I learned is that you take sometimes, when you have the time, of course, you take apart engines that are good. There's nothing wrong with them. And that's how you learn how things are supposed to normally wear in, what they look like. All right? Not only catastrophe like this or putting brand new parts in there. You know, sometimes you have to know what a good-looking running part is. I did another um, video on a head gasket, what a good head gasket looks like, an old, used, good head gasket when you take the head off. Because you may have a problem with that, and, you know, I, I have a video on what a good one looks like when you're taking yours apart. So that was about it with this one. All right, guys, motor car nut, please subscribe, hit the like button, any questions below pertaining to the video, leave them below. I answer all my questions, try to get everybody helped as fast as I can, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching my channel.